uh, got that on video. We could get some still shots <laughs> of you up in the air. <laughs> so we're going to think long neck here, stretch down into the trot. Right, right. Wait, much better than the last one, okay? So this is just him. It's sort of a, a evasion. See, when you get him in the correct dressage frame, he has to lift up over his back. And it's way easier to canter than it is to lift your back. Now that's a nice canter, just go with it, okay? Right, and the elbow's got to swing with the horse. And he's in a very good uh, balance, right? He's not falling in, right? The inside rein could open a hair, and then the outside rein turns the shoulder, and I love how he's on the bit the way he's supposed to be, right? And your seat, you let the horse rock your seat, right? And it's just a hair of a pulling back, where you want to let the arms go with the horse. Now, if he gets a little low, that's okay, fine. Just post, just post. Good, let's go ahead and let him stretch. Stretch, stretch, and stretch. So it was a beautiful canter. Yeah. He was balanced, he was straight, and he was correctly on the bit, didn't have a smush neck. Now, this is a little bit of a fast trot. Well, he starts to go fast, just, just slow the posting. Just because he goes fast doesn't mean you got to go fast. Right, so let's get that stretch again. All right, easy, open your fingers. All right, good, this is the trot, right? Doesn't need to be quick. You know, we want, you know, he's got to learn to wait. But anyways, so we're not going to stretch. We're going to gather him up, okay? And we're going to go back to our 10 meter circle. And then you asking him for the longer stride, longer neck, just go forward with your hands. Forward with your hands. Yeah. Now, 10 meter circle. Right, you want to feel him take your hands forward. Ten, long neck. You know, you shorten his neck in the 10 meter circle, okay? You go hands forward just this much. So you, you don't want to you don't want to drop him. See how you just gave him a longer neck. You have to give him the room to have the longer neck. But if he goes above the bit, are you going to go hands forward? No. <laughs> it's sort of like, you know, your your contact has to be like a, a temperature gauge. You know, you got it. So so first you're going to get him on the bit. Good. Now go hands. No, just stay walking for a minute. Brrr, just. Okay, so just gonna walk for a minute. Hand, yeah. Okay, so, so I, I think it's very important to teach horses voice commands. So, cause see when you pull like that, you really have no control. Okay, so we're just gonna walk, right? And he's a little bit low. So you're gonna push him up a little bit there. And now go hands forward. His neck gets longer. Now bring your elbows back and push him up. And it, yep, and his neck gets shorter. And now go forward a little bit, and his neck gets longer. This is how you do it. Okay, but, but if you go forward with your hand, your elbows, because your hands don't actually move, and he goes above the bit, don't go forward. <laughs> you know, make those adjustments. Only go forward like now I would go forward. Yeah. So remember when I said, have you ever heard that they're supposed to like stretch into the bit? That's what we're talking about. So if we shorten his neck in the 10 meter circle, what else are we shortening? His back. Yeah. Okay. So let's go back to work.